Hello, this is Christopher Morgan from Easy Vista. Today we're going to be talking about uh, web services and specifically SOAP web services and how they help with automation aspects of uh, Service Manager. So in Easy Vista, I think we're all familiar with the concept of creating service requests. This is a very common thing. It happens uh, a lot. You know, when these service requests are initiated, either by end users or from an email, they go into a workflow and then do all sorts of uh, different cool, great things for the business. The question comes up occasionally on how we can programmatically create these service requests or programmatically create a request in Easy Vista. And one of the ways to do that is through a web service. Now, at its heart, a web service is essentially using the technology that we're all very familiar with, with the World Wide Web, browsers and web servers, and, and using that technology to send little bits of code back and forth between uh, uh, systems. So in this case, the bit of code is going to be a command, which we call a method in Easy Vista, and the systems are going to be Easy Vista Service Manager on one end, and the other end it could be anything. We're going to use a simple example uh, application, but it could be something you've programmatically developed in a .NET application, or use a third-party application, or, or really anything. So to start things off, there's a couple important URLs that I want to bring to your attention that are baked into every single Easy Vista. Uh, instance. You don't have to read this up here. I'm going to uh, expand it down at the bottom of the screen. But what I'm looking at here is the web services definitions. So these are the. this is a list of all the different web service methods that I have available to me in this particular instance. So I've got methods that are named create request, close request, suspend request, restart request. And thankfully that these names are pretty intuitive. So just by looking at some of these, we can see at a glance what they ex we expect them to do. Now, when I click on each of those, I can get to what we call the WSDL, which stands for Web Services Description Language, I think. I forget what it stands for. You can certainly Google it. But what it's doing is uh, it's defining what input is expected from that method in a series of XML definitions. So we can see empirically, when we call this method, what parameters plugged into an XML namespace do we need to send? We can also see this very generically in Easy Vista, uh, and this is what that whistle is going to look like. I got to this screen here by clicking on the WSDL link at the, at the top, and it brings forward this XML document with namespaces and the type of uh, variable that is expected for each of these um, uh, elements and parameters here. Another important uh, URL we're actually going to talk about in a second, but first thing I want to do is go over into my generic web services uh, tool here. So this is simply a tool to interact with SOAP web services. It's called Mac SOAP Client. It's an open source tool. I do have to get, there's a hacked version that you need to find online that's compatible with Mac OS Lion, OS X Lion and up, um, and we can provide a link to that as well. But what I can do with this web service is enter in that, US, that URL, uh, where my WSDL is located. And in this case, it's the same URL we just looked at, and I can parse it. I get a little ding, and it brings forward uh, in the nice little kind of form view here that WSDL. Now, the first thing I want to do is select a method, and I'm going to select the create request method. And um, you can see that I've got different uh, uh, parameters that need to be filled in here. I actually should have shown the other one first. So, Easy Vista also includes baked into each incident that sort of same application, but but built into the browser here. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing, but we can see at a glance the different fields that are required, and I've pre-populated them with some values here, like the catalog UID and the company account and the user that I want to create this, um, and the so and the description here, and uh, create that. So let's say I have uh, these fields here. I enter in these data, this data. And I'm going to create that request just by hitting that button here. And what also shows up over on the right, it actually uh, spits back the result uh, for me. And in this case, the important part of the result is the incident ID that was just created. You can see it is uh, I160119, a bunch of zeros, and three. And if I just go into Service Manager and search for that, one click, you'll see sure enough that incident is 
been created, you notice the user's there, the phone number's there, the uh, description is there, uh, and it all worked very swimmingly. I'm gonna go back over here and I just wanna grab a couple of the values. I'm gonna grab that good and go over to my third party tool. And I show this third party tool because I think it's closer to what we're gonna see in the real world. Either this is gonna exist in a third party tool or um, it's gonna be something that we develop programmatically. But I'm gonna just simply copy the same values into this application, doing the urgency ID and 40. And I can fill in uh, other uh, fields that are available in this uh, web service as well. Let's, let's do a different phone number. Let's do 1-800. No, let's do a bunch of things like that. And origin is going to be, does it come from the phone, the self-service portal? We probably would want to have a custom uh, origin in the real world so we can track requests that are coming from web services. And let's just say this is from a SOAP web service. And I do know how to spell. And like execute. And down at the bottom, the response is here. Sure enough, boom. It has given me that incident ID. You'll notice this one ends in a four. If I go back into that incident, paste it in there, boom. And there you have it. Programmatically creating a, here we are, service request uh, in that EasyVista via a SOAP web service.